Hi, today something you might find very interesting. Last two trips I have done in a bit wilder and vaster region, near Odra River in Poland. Having longer distance to cover, I decided there are good conditions to measure what is fuel consumption in real terrain. I had OBD connected and gather very precise data. My car is equipped with Dunlop R17 winter tires and was filled with 95 octane unleaded fuel. In the background you can see part of recording I have done this day. You will have good understanding what conditions I had there. It was mostly even road where I could drive with moderate speed. Some occasional bumps and couple of slower parts, but mostly this nice dirt road amongst vast lowlands. All the time I had 4x4 lock mode enabled. Probably I would do fine even with auto mode as it was mostly even road, but in many places there was thin layer of water after the rain which made road extremely slippery. And anyway we have 4x4 mode to use it, not to let it gather dust. Let's check what trip data was recorded. Total distance traveled was 15.7 km. For around 1 hour you can see distance was not changing, grey marked area in the graph. This was break I have done, but it will not impact overall results. The most important factor is speed during the ride. And surprisingly, average speed was almost all the time around 10 km per hour. It is including as well stops I was making to check the map or start the drone. But for comparison you can add a bit more obstacles to mostly even road and you will have same results. Also, I had some more problematic parts to pass, but not showing them in this video. Regarding total fuel consumption, for 2 hours I have used 2.5 liters of gasoline. Not so much for so long time. Average fuel consumption was 15 liters per 100 km. Summarizing, for driving in lock mode in terrain with speed of around 10 km per hour, car consumed in average 15 liter per 100 km. Not so bad, something we could expect. Now I will share with you second measurement for next bit longer trip in same place. This time there were much more slower parts where I needed to crawl and stop more. Using grey color I have marked short break I had. In total I have driven 24 km. Average speed varied a lot, from a little above 2 km, then 4 km and finally 6 km for the last part. Of course there were some moments that I maybe stopped completely and due to this speed was lowered. But this emulates what happened in more complex terrain where you don't turn off engine every time when you stop. In total I have used almost 5.5 liters of gasoline. For 25 km drive it's a lot. You can probably see now to which conclusion it leads. For parts where I had stops and very low average speed consumption hits almost 50 liters. To only get down finally to 22.5 liters when average speed rise to 6 km per hour for complete trip. Summarizing, when average speed goes down from 10 to 6 km per hour, average fuel consumption rise from 15 to 22 liters per 100 km. You can now see all data in one table. Only conclusion I can give you, when you go off-roading, better have full tank, because it can suck gasoline like any good old Jeep. Thanks for watching.